once we started the journey, we actually have been walking every day. Uh, and uh, certain days that we actually did the morning, the afternoons, uh, and then uh, later in the evenings. Um, I think there's only one day we actually take a short break. Uh, apart from that, uh, we have always been on the ground. Uh, what keeps us walking is that we uh, uh, to hear the issues that are actually raised by the residents. Uh, these issues we have actually compiled them. They are the uh, uh, issues that we have actually uh, raised them up during the, uh, this uh, campaign period. And uh, we also want to add that uh, uh, till now, uh, we have covered more than 350 HDB blocks. Uh, we have also uh, started uh, walking the, uh, uh, the other estates. And, uh, so for us, like today itself, uh, we have uh, actually morning whereby we actually covered the uh, markets. Uh, and later after that, we swing over and uh, actually uh, do a house business. So uh, this effort will continue uh, unless uh, some of our candidates are required to actually uh, go on rallies uh, to support other uh, constituencies. Uh, and, uh, so I think for us, as, as, as I actually said, uh, we're still hearing a lot of uh, different issues uh, that actually concern Singaporeans. And uh, we're going to cover, hope that we can actually cover all of them uh, in the upcoming rally for the Georgia Cup. I think I first say that the, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is not for myself, it's actually for Singaporeans. And uh, quite clearly as a voter and also for feedback uh, from numerous uh, Singaporeans that we've met, nobody wants uh, a constituency to have a trick on the bike. Uh, so in order to, for, uh, for NSP, I believe that uh, that is also something that we want to uphold as well. Uh, therefore for us it's about Singaporeans, so Singaporeans should come first. For Chua Chu Kang, this area itself, actually for some of us, we've already been on the ground uh, one and a half years ago. Uh, and uh, so this place is not new to us. Uh, and we actually understand quite a numerous number of issues that uh, uh, involve the residents that stayed here. And for this filming itself, uh, I mean, I'm glad that we did it at uh, Jurong West because uh, uh, quite a number of us have actually walked this ground. And we're very familiar with these uh, places, actually. Uh, for Chua Chu Kang, uh, uh, itself, we realize that the, for NSP, Chua Chu Kang has always uh, contested under the uh, NSP umbrella. Right? Uh, so I would say I will only have a, um, a last statement to say, which is that the, uh, it's always about Singaporeans. Singaporeans do not want to see a three corner fight, and therefore, for us, it's actually important to ensure that all the constituency, whether SMC or GRC, is actually contested, and it must actually be a straight fight. I think firstly, I want to add that I'm very pleased that uh, Nicosia has uh, thrown ahead in. It. So this has uh, actually demonstrated that uh, you know many uh, people of uh, various ages could actually be involved in politics uh, if uh, they have a heart for it and uh, they can bring in their experience from different perspectives to actually contribute. Uh, for myself, I think that what is most important uh, is actually to fight for me a platform to have a platform to allow uh, be politicians, all politicians, all activists uh, to actually come in and contest their policy ideas, their ideas for the society, their ideas that can make a better Singapore. Uh, uh, and I'm very sure that uh, uh, given the level of participation in this uh, general election, uh, I would say that uh, more people are involved, more people better understand how policies affect them. So anybody who actually have ideas, who are concerned about where Singapore is heading towards, who have a heart for Singaporeans, uh, can step forward. And I want that platform to be one that is fair, uh, one that is transparent, one that allows people to actually contest ideas. Uh, and I think that the, uh, uh, it is also important for any office holders to actually understand that it is through this contest that they are better and they get uh, constructive feedback and uh, they are also being challenged to keep themselves on the toes so that they will only do the best and uh, propose the best solution uh, for Singapore's moving forward. I think I'll answer the second question first. I'll say that the, uh, the fear of failure um, is very acute uh, among students. Uh, 
uh, primarily could be actually as a result of uh, our assessment driven system. So for NSP, I believe that the, uh, in terms of uh, um, policy, we need to really look at education. How we can actually better develop education policies uh, that can ensure that apart from just focusing on assessment, we should also focus on potentials. When you actually focus on potential, you realize it is actually a journey on failures and uh, successes. So I think that the, uh, for, it is important in our education landscape to start actually emphasizing uh, not just on assessment outcomes, but uh, how we can better develop the potential uh, of our young children. And to develop the entrepreneurial spirit, we have to start from young. So education, uh, uh, the change in education landscape is uh, very important. Uh, for the next area that one need to look at uh, is primarily, primarily uh, to actually examine uh, what are the policy that could actually encourage entrepreneurship. I personally, for me, I find that it is heartening to know that there are actually many schemes that are offered to the students. But we need to start to make students understand that the uh, uh, apart from just pursuing uh, a tertiary uh, education, whether in polytechnics or uh, all universities, uh, we want we want actually students. Uh, to actually take part actively uh, to try and start companies, uh, develop uh, projects that can contribute uh, to new uh, products, new services. And uh, I think moving ahead, uh, there must be greater effort and to try and uh, support this. Uh, I wouldn't say we are not uh, doing good enough. I would rather feel that uh, it is more important that uh, there could be more public-private uh, initiative on this, whereby entrepreneurs uh, could be invited back to uh, education educations, education institutions uh, to work together and to create this uh, very uh, um, fertile platform and to allow our young people to, to, to have the opportunity of starting a company uh, while actually pursuing their tertiary education. And if one day we can uh, have as much as 40-50 uh, uh, companies that are actually being set up uh, every, every year, uh, for each education institutions, then we are actually trying to convert ideas to realities. And so I feel that uh, that is something that we should actually actively encourage our students. And that's something that I think is already uh, uh, embedded into the uh, American uh, tertiary education. So we should actually follow suit. Um, uh, for, for the last part, for advice, uh, there's only uh, uh, one advice that I have, which is that the uh, it is important that uh, young people or people starting uh, uh, on an entrepreneurial journey, you need to understand that you need to follow your passion. You need to follow what you are good at, what is your potential. So if you can better understand uh, what you are good at and what you enjoy doing, then I think in the process of going through this very difficult entrepreneurial journey, you will find, it, uh, find that the, uh, you are enjoying it, although you may have to spend long hours initially, and you will find that really fulfilling. Uh, in, the, in this journey itself. So for will-be entrepreneurs, I would say that uh, be prepared to take a lot of hard knocks because uh, no books will teach you it. But uh, eventually, if you manage to actually uh, uh, successfully establish your business, all right, uh, you will feel that uh, uh, you will feel that uh, very fulfilled and uh, you'll find it very uh, satisfying. It is uh, something uh, that cannot be described. It is beyond uh, saying, for example, you work in a job and you get a promotion or getting just good grades in the exam. Thank you.